Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I thought I would change things up a bit today and do a tag video which is not really beauty related. For today's video I'm going to be doing the what's in my handbag tag. What's in my bag? What's in my bag? Tag. My handbag. Um, basically, I'm going to show you my handbag and what I stuff inside it on a daily basis. So I'm kind of nervous and embarrassed of God knows what we're going to find in here. Let's just get straight onto the video. So the bag I have been using recently is a bag I got in December for my 21st birthday from my parents. So me, so stunning, and it is, dun -dun -dun -dun, this is the, oh, I can't get it all in the frame, it's too big. This is the Kate Spade New York Black Leather Tote square style um, bag that kind of flares out in the side new and black leather with the gold detailing and I am obsessed it's actually quite a large bag so I use it sometimes to go to work so I can pop like my laptop and my um, notes books definitely one of the most beautiful handbags I own and I've dolled it up with this little um, fluff ball dusty rose fluff ball that I bought from Glassons and it was like nine dollars inside there's all my crap oh my god things are falling out there's one big zip pocket here and then on the other end you can see there's two like kind of thin slip pockets let's get started I'm gonna do what's in the pockets first just to get that out of the way so in the two small pockets I don't actually have anything in there at the moment because my phone is just floating around um, but usually my phone is in there. In the big pocket, I have, ooh, okay. I have my sunglasses that I'm wearing at the moment. They're these like rose gold, really structured um, shades with like a pinky gold frame. I love them so much. They're from Nora NYC, but their shades are incredible. They're already great prices, but why not chuck a 10% discount on their for ya? Super cute, really like funky, very in that style. So that's that. This video is like a really good way to clean out my bag so I'm just going to take all this shit out. <laughs> I have one more thing in this big zip pocket and it is, oh, standard <laughs> food. Um, these are the Mother Earth Baked Oat Slice. These are my favourite at the moment. My mum bought them a few weeks ago and I've just been hooked ever since. This is the white chocolate and raspberry flavour and I usually just chuck a bar, mix nuts or a piece of fruit. I just throw something in my bag, a protein bar, um, for when I'm teaching because sometimes teaching goes through dinner time and I get really peckish and I kind of lose focus. Um, so I'd like 6 30 or 5 30 i'll just have a snack on these in between my lessons and it'll be good to go my phone is the next thing i see this is my iphone 6s plus i've just got like this clear case um it's the pink one nothing too flash so next i have okay here's a beauty product better than a lip balm it's like a lip treatment almost because it's so thick and moisturizing and it feels so good on the lip doesn't really have a smell I thought it did. Either way, this is the Bobbi Brown, um, what is this called? It's just called the Bobbi Brown Lip Balm and it's just a clear lip tint and um, it's really thick and moisturizing. I always have a lip balm, you know, for my lip needs. All right, moving on. Noisy, just a slip of strepsils. These are the Strepsil Plus antiseptic ones because life of a singing teacher and also I'm due to get my tonsils out so this stuff is just saving me. This is my little purse that I I think I just took out the other day to go for coffee with my girlfriend because it was just easy to carry. This is a little coach leather purse and it's got the traditional coach markings and then the dark brown coach with the gold um, writing and it's got the cute little tag and this is really good even just to take out for a night out because it's got the wrist strap so you just put ID, bit of cash. I think it fits my phone maybe without the case but either way I just use it just to, on the go when I don't want to take my big wallet or a handbag with me. Some change and my 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 debit my debit card. I don't want it. I mean look guys there's no money in there for you to steal so try your luck mate. Uh, but that's all that's in there so obviously I was just on the go and running out of the house. Wowza. Okay next thing I'll show you my actual wallet. All of my leather goods right now are from my 21st, which is awesome. This is another, this is my wallet at the moment. This is my big bad boy Oriton wallet. I got this from my beautiful cousin Monica, so shout out, thank you to you. Oriton and Coach are probably my two favorite leather good brands. They are so worth every cent. They last for years and years and years. And I think just a classic bag and classic wallets. They don't, they keep up with the trends, but they just stay beautiful. It's something you can have for five, six years and it's still gorge. I love it for the summer. It's such a cute little summery pattern that nautical theme um 
and I'll just open it for you guys. Oh, something's stuck. And as you can see, it's huge. There's so many compartments. And all I have in here is a gym card, license, Medicare, a bunch of cards, Opal cards, a bunch of receipts, a bunch of like coffee cards, my most important card of all, my Priceline sister card. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyway, moving on, the next product I have, product, okay, I brought this out, sorry. This is an iPad mini that apparently doesn't want to open. Just a standard. It's actually my mom's that she, ne oh, it's, oh, it's dead, cute. Um, it's actually my mom's that she's not using, but I use every now and then when I just can't be bothered bringing my laptop to teaching because it's so damn heavy. But this is just, yeah, my iPad always floating in there if I need to last minute do some work. The next thing I have is some deodorant, beyond all favourite deodorant of all time. This is a Rexona Invisible Dry Pure Anti-White Marks, Yellow Stains and Sweat. If anyone knows me personally enough to know what my deodorant regime is, so my mum, my boyfriend and my best friend, you will know I am a freak when it comes to deodorant. I spray for like hours. Does anyone else do that? I go through deodorant like people go through underwear, like it's insane. Um, but hey, I don't like to smell. If I don't have deodorant on me, I will buy deodorant and put it in my bag. Even if I don't use it, I will have one in my... Oh, there are no words. <sighs> Sorry, it's like 10 o'clock at night. I should not be filming. I'm exhausted. These are a set of earphones that I bought from JB Hi-Fi not long ago. I'm going to be that idiot that doesn't remember the brand, but they're really good. They cost me about... $30, $40, so they're better than the cheapy crappy ones, but not as crazy as like a Beats or an Apple Pair. They're really good quality. I think the sound in them is awesome. Mainly got them for this bad boy, the Eve piece, so you can talk on the phone, because I'm always, always running around the place, so I just love putting earphones in and talking on the phone, and I can just chuck it in my pocket, and I can do whatever I have to do. It just makes my life easier. But yeah, they're just, and they're quite long as well, which I like. So they're just my standard earphones more hair does anyone's hair just follow them wherever they go literally but not the hair that's on their head the next thing i have is a rose gold pen once again anyone who knows me personally will know my obsession with rose gold is unhealthy it's it's really a it's, it's a problem it's gotten to an absolute problem but either way i bought these pens from kmart they're just it was like a pack of two or three i think so i bought it and i love them and they're really good pens they're actually like good quality pens for cheap pens because don't lie to yourself. You know that a good pen really makes you do better in life. I am so fucking weird. I've got a receipt. Cheerfully touched. King's Grove. Oh, this is my massage place. Oh my god. Anyone who lives in the eastern suburbs, St. George area, go to the Cheerfully Touched massage parlors. There's a few of them around. They are incredible. The stuff is impeccable there. It's so clean. It's so perfect. So decently priced. And I've been going there for literally... God, since I was maybe 16 or 17, and me and my mum swear by them. They're an amazing place to go to. Back pains and just stress really tenses me. So getting a massage is the best thing for it. And I spent $81 in there. And I think that was because I got a two, I got the full body Thai massage and a foot reflexology, which is pretty cheap for an hour. That's a, that's incredibly cheap. Okay, I have a, <laughs> I'm sad to show this because it's kind of, it's empty. It's my black opium perfume and, oh. Oh, I live for this smell. I've never really had a favourite perfume. I guess perfume for me was just whatever kind of like, hmm, yeah, that's cute, that smells nice. But I found it. And of course, of course it's got to be, the, you know, the perfume that's like $150. This is just a sm the middle size bottle, so not the really big one, just the average size. Oh, I'd been wanting it for months and it's just something, you know, perfume is one of those things, expensive perfumes, you don't really splurge on yourself. Well, at least I don't. I always feel like I don't need it. But... I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and repurchase the massive one because I want to take it to Europe with me. It's the perfect sexy, musky, but then kind of sweet and like girly smell. It's just a perfect mix of both and I absolutely love it. Last thing. Oh no, I lied. <laughs> Second last thing. This is the lip kit that I've been wearing at the moment like Cray. This is Coco K by Kylie Jenner. Oh, they smell like marshmallows. Oh, it smells so good. It's not what I'm wearing at the moment. I just hit myself in the face. Ow. I'm not a liquid lip person in general, but when I do, I have... It took me a while to get into Kylie Jenner, but I did give her the time and the effort that she deserved, and I really got into these, and now I'm obsessed. Um, okay, and the last thing which I'm obsessed 
obsessed. This is my diary for 2017. It is a rose gold Kiki K uh, yearly diary. I am a freak for organization, even though I'm not really the most organized person, but this helps. I love a good diary. I love good, some good stationery and I love rose gold. So where did I go wrong? Um, this was $40. I'm not gonna lie. It is pretty fucking ridiculous to spend $40 on a notebook or diary, but hey, got everything I need. I like it especially because it's got a lot of space. A lot of, um, there's notes and goal pages at the beginning of every month, which I love. There's all the dates for term holidays and public holidays, which once again, as a teacher, it's good for me to keep on track of. Um, and yeah, I guess that's it. You can see it fits quite a lot. It's quite a roomy bag, which is awesome. Um, I love this handbag so much. This is probably the one I've been using the most lately, merely just because it's black and it goes with everything and it's, um, it's Kate Spade. I mean, hello. That is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video wasn't too boring. If there's anyone out there like me who really enjoys snooping into people's personal lives, you will kind of enjoy this video, I guess. But please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. Love you so much. Mwah.